Hello everybody and welcome back to the greatest game of all time, number one out of every game ever, even in my top five. Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, aka and better known as just Yoshi's Island. One of the best games ever, and in my opinion the best game ever because of the nostalgic feel of seeing Mario as a baby. This is where it all began for him. This is where his story began, and it's with Yoshi, and that's why Yoshi's my favorite but also because it's the greatest game ever, 100%ing uh, it is a bitch. But I went back to 1-4. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good because it's, it's kind of been a little while. So it got me practiced up a bit, especially after playing other games lately. But there we go. We're at 100% for everything. Now it's time 100%. 1-5, 1-6, 1-7, and finish off World 1 in this episode, guys. So see how well we can go. Starting off with level 5 of World 1 with the purple Yoshi and Hop Hop Donut Lifts. One of the most favoritest, favoritest level ever. Let's let's see what you have to say. There are very dangerous donut lifts in this stage. This is the donut blocks from Mario 3. This is where they originated from. They will fall shortly after you stand on them. Step, sli uh, step lightly. I said slightly. But there you go. They're going to just slowly fall if you don't be careful. And this is why I love Yoshi as well so much. This is where Mario really learned his jumping skills. It's from Yoshi and his adventure in this game. Because he can flutter hop like a son of a bitch. Because he's that damn good. But as long as you just keep moving or jumping, you're definitely fine. I mean, we've known that since Mario 3. Then you got these things. But yeah, getting all 20 red coins where they blend in as regular coins as you can see right there. And then these fuckers, they're not so bad. It's the other ones that will fly away and never come back. And unless you die or restart the whole entire level. So, <laughs> when you had that one chance to get that one red coin. And then, as you can see in the last episode, if you get hit by a boss, it's going to be hard to recover from it. Because you can't use any of your cards. You know, any of those down there, those blocks, and... We're back to five lives, by the way, because we restarted. Because we turned off the game system, because if we left it on all the way up until now, just for this moment, then damn. I've done it before, but not like this. I had, like, over 500 lives in this game before. It just keeps going up. But not only that, like I said, if you get hit, you know, you're pretty much screwed. you got to keep all 30 stars. All 30 of those things counting up. So getting hit is a bitch. So it's pretty much you have to play perfect to 100% this whole entire game. Which is kind of ridiculous. But it still in my eyes makes it the greatest game ever. Because of all the mechanics. So it's these guys, right? You'll have those. They'll just go away forever if you take too long. Oh my god. Need those. And I, I need these too. Okay, maybe I didn't. Just don't get hit. But yeah, it'll be those guys with the red coins. And they're no good! Oh. I can just hit these down below. Make it a lot better. Let me tell you. We can skip the bonus if we just keep doing this. I know it from speedrunning. There you go. <laughs> I'm a pro. Just for that. I'm just bad at the flutter jumping. Like, perfectly, you know. Like, by, th by the frames. As speedrunners does it. But hey, first try. We didn't die. And we got through the auto scroll of death. It's one of the worst things of games is auto scrollers. Shy guys on stilts. They're still manageable, but eh. I don't mean these guys. Okay, so I know for sure we want to go up first. Always go up first. Hey, hidden stuff. One up. Need it. Go through the door. Because we need this to 100%. The level. So yellow eggs create coins, red eggs create two stars. Uh, flashing eggs? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hit an enemy to receive these prizes. 
Uh, yeah, the thing that that's another thing. Not all levels have this, but this is what the flashing egg does. All right, so hit him. It gives you a red coin that you need to 100% the damn level. So that's a bitch as well, keep in mind. But I think only one other level besides this one does that. Maybe two. But I know one for sure, it's one of the bonus levels. But that's all that's here, just showing off the eggs. So thank goodness uh, that we do know that, because it makes 100%ing this game a hell of a lot easier by making it red eggs and hitting enemies with the red eggs to get our star power back for reasons like that. Oh. So you can also tongue attack them. You can lick them and knock them back if you, if you need a little bit of a distance. You guys want to come out? Yeah. I thought that's what that was. Just making sure. And also this, one of the best soundtracks of the game. But yeah, we can just knock these guys back. Just get the fuck out of here. I don't need you in my life. Come on, both of you. I can juggle both of you. Just get out of here. Why the hell do you have stilts and I don't? Because I'm a Yoshi. And I can flutter. And I'm better than you. See? See that ricochet off the wall? Pretty sure that's everything in there. I hope. Ush. Yeah, stay on this. You don't want to prematurely get off. <laughs> you don't want to prematurely get off. Alex 2018. I just thought about what I fucking said. Stop getting hit. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Get the fuck out. You get the ground pound. Can I die? Actually, hold on. Before we test that theory. That game theory. Oh, okay. Well, those guys popped. I don't know why you didn't. Oh, it's just another one. What about now? Oh, you can just go back down in there. How convenient. That I didn't land on him. Hey. Buddy. I'm just hitting everything left to right. Bounce off him for the extra bounce boost. So I can jump higher. As we both look up to victory. Yep. Oh. What more does this game have to offer? You will find out. So, it's best if we just threw enemies in there. You can throw your eggs, as I shown off in the last episode. Just a friendly reminder. Always a friendly reminder, because I needed one in World 2. Let me tell you about that later. But ground pound these. You gotta remember, you can ground pound these, because I was stuck in World 2. Lakitu's wall on the GBA, Game Boy Advance version, SP. For no fucking reason, because of that. And I forgot for some reason, as a kid. Step on the button when you find them. Here, I'm just going to call it a button. Here you will find a secret entrance. Yes. Uh, let me get these down first. Because, hey, guess what, Alex? You can ground pound those fucking things. Another reason why this is the greatest game ever. Alright. So it's right here. Show me what you got. Morph into the mole tank here. Dig like mad to find two red coins. Can we use save states? Because, yeah. Oh, you can tell. Like I said, you can tell which ones are the red ones. I think this one up here. Yep. And that one. Nice. Go down, you son of a bitch. I almost touched you. Can I do it again? That sucks. I want to know where the door took me. It probably just takes me back out here anyways. Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs>
pound the ground. I sure fucking did. <laughs> Press down on the D-pad while in the air. Yoshi would pound the ground. Or ground pound. Or butt pound. This has many uses and many names. And it rocks. As you can fucking see. I don't know what noise that was, but... Maybe if you got off prematurely and you press down in the air in the ground pound, then you probably know. Oh. 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 Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, those things are pretty fast. Red ones. Alright. Ricochet! That was perfect. Too bad I can't get the stars up there. Hey, I got that one. Oh, I needed the other one too. Holy shit! We're off by one. That's that's what's gonna be. It's gonna be like Super Mario 64 with the one red coin you miss, but instead it's the one hit we need. I saw you bat. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh, thank God you had it. Oh, okay, we're good. 100%. Oh, there was a one-up right there, too. I should have waited to pop. But, oh, well. We got our first bonus. At least I know how to skip the other one. But getting bonuses is pretty cool. At least just for the meantime. And by the meantime, I mean the, just this episode, because we'll turn the game off, and then that'll be it. Then we'll reset our lives again. So scratch and match, one up, chance. Scratch three boxes, uncover Mario's to gain one up. Scratch on, blah, blah, blah. We know how to play because we did it in the last episode. Gimme. Ah, it's a toady. It's a Mari. And middle one? Another toady. I'm okay with ten lives. I mean, it's one up better than a cat Mario, so... With the nine lives. As Mario's just sitting there all smug. With his big ass face. Oh, so now the most infamous. I guess you can say infamous. Most famous level in Yoshi's Island. With one of the best soundtracks as well. 1 7. Touch fuzzy. Get dizzy. Or get fucked. Get fucked up. I love the soundtrack too. And these roly poly olies just wants to roll. They don't even hurt you. See, I love enemies like that. It's, they're just friendly. And you just roll them off like that. And then they kill the fucking piranha plant for me. See, these guys are my friends. Look at this. It even kills the spiky guys. The spike tops. Like, literally, this is the best sub-character in the game. These are the worst. Oops, I thought he was going to drop down. I guess the red ones do. They're like Koopas. Unless I knock him down. There you go. Get out of here. Oh, I need... I need stuff. Like this watermelon. Yeah, you can just knock them into each other. Can't really kill them that way unless they are getting knocked into each other. Um... There's a key we can use. Apparently. Alright, make, making platforms here for me. Because the other one didn't work out. So we can ground pound this. Oh, well, I guess this level has it. But you don't really get to see much of it with these shiny red eggs. Go ahead and throw it there. Because that's guaranteed to hit. And not miss. Don't want to just throw it on these guys. These things. So the key was easy. There you go. Just get out of here with that. Go ahead, go through here. I, I don't want to risk keeping that egg and throwing it on something I don't think I could hit. Because it's important to get the red coins. As we're going to gather coins here. Grab more coins than your enemy before the time reaches zero. Alright, get out of here, motherfucker. This game is pretty easy. It's fun, but it's pretty easy going against this fool. He ain't gonna get a single damn one. He might get that one though. Okay, never mind. Because I can also use my tongue to get him. Well, look at you. Look at you having that one. Aren't you happy? 
So I, I can also tongue him, I think. 12 to 2. Beat you by 10. And now I'm fool. With eggs. I think there's a secret, though. I just wish I had eggs. Actually. Might as well do it now. Actually, now. I don't care, really. Because I don't think they save either. But we could have just done that. Right there. But that's pretty much everything over there. Now we're going to the... The reason why this game is so famous, well, this level, is because of these damn things we want to try to avoid. You can also throw eggs at them to avoid them, if you want. That's not really the fun thing to do here. The fun thing to do here is to fucking just run into these and get fucking totally wasted, bro. Like, did you did you catch that my hammy eat? My, my hammy, my hammy eat, not my hammy heat. <laughs> My, my, <laughs> my hammy eat. Make a fucking TV show called that. Did you catch that last night, Johnny? Because I was pretty wasted to fucking catch it on prime time. Now I gotta get up in the morning with this hangover that I got. It really does affect everything right now. Whoa. Yeah. And it does move the platforms. Oh, oh, I, oh, I'm surprised I made that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> totally wasted. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. He fell to his death and I wanted to eat him. Same thing with that star. Oh my god. Hold up. I don't know. Because this is pretty much the end of the level right here. Alright, this is the secret. As well. Cause like, oh, that's it, but we're missing four red coins. You want to stand on this thing, look up, pray, then throw the egg. Make sure you pray first. Okay, there it is. I was about to freak the fuck out. It's like, why isn't that not dropping? I know it's there. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure I have a lot of chances. Ground pound you. Okay, that's not going to work. Maybe this will. Oh. We have plenty of chances because we can eat these things. Oh. Okay. We're just trying to get that one extra star we need. Maybe we shouldn't be a fool first. Maybe we should just move this rock with the eggs that we do have. And we might be able to get some stars here. Oh, okay. We gotta use the rock to hit that. Okay, there's the seed. So we can get our red coins up here. Good, sir. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, it, that did. Okay, we ain't. We don't have to ricochet coins. We're 100% good. Mm. Ground pound your ass in there to celebrate. You can ground pound those, of course, as you see me do earlier. And we got the bonus again. Oh yeah, I'm so happy because I'm Yoshi. And I'm the best. Oh, Demonic voice. Beast voice. Too aggressively happy. Oh, we got one level to do. And we're done with World 1 already. Scratch and match. One up chance. We read this before. Deja vu. Let's see if we get the Marios. Let's get the Marios. Hey, we got one Mario. One drink and Mario. Off the milk. Is that another Mario? Okay, well, one Mario, still, from the good old number 13, raising it up once into the light of 14. So the final level of World 1, 1-8, one the castle level, not the fortress, but the castle, where we go against this fuckhead, and end this thing off pretty good, Salvo the Slime's Castle, 
He's all slimy. This level, pretty good, as they teach you about this rotating thing. I love it. I love all the technical aspects of this game. Especially with what they had to work with with the Super Nintendo. This is definitely the most advanced one. Since this is around the end of the Super Nintendo life cycle. Now there's a flower up there. I need to remember. And don't fall in the lava. Because we learned that at the beginning of this level. But this level is pretty famous too. I mean, it's the first castle level. So how are you going to really forget this one? But we want to make our way up here. Go this way. Jump off. That's how we get that flower up here. On the top. On the tip top. We want to hit it with the egg. It's the fastest way, I think. Looks like it. Oops. I was going to jump over on that side. Yeah, because I don't... Yeah, you can't go in here. So I was just going to balls it. Without this fish squirting me. Squirting and hurting me. There are two red coins there? Yeah. And some stars. While we're at it. Halfway mark. Already already almost done. Pretty much. Get out of that room. Don't need that fish hurting us with the, some water pressure anymore. Like a fire extinguisher. Hit the block to the right with an egg and some platforms will flip. You don't have to hit it with an egg though. We can hit it with our heads because we can jump. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad that happened. So now we gotta find red ones for that. Uh, we don't want to get hit. Because we want 100% this level. And now since we got hit we're off by 2 instead of 1 for some reason. It's like they didn't give us enough eggs. Or not eggs but stars. Hey, there's a flower just right there. Ground pound this fucking fool. If he comes underneath us. Yep. One way street with those. There's a way you can clip through them, though. Uh, it's mostly more doable for the ones on the side, not the ones on the ceiling. We can go ahead and hit that. And what you want to do is... Oops. Since we can cross it now. And since the other one's flipped... Actually, hold on. The other one's flipped first. We need to we need to come down here first. Oops. What? Thank you. Ush. And you still do that. Ush. Nice. There we go. Because now we can just come over here and just avoid that. You don't have to hit it again to jump underneath to come over, but. Eh. That's all the flowers. We already made it down. So we got everything there. First castle's almost done. We got like, what, one room left? Since we have the key and we have all the red coins. We just gotta make it all up now. Right here. With this thing. Let's go ahead and eat it. And bring it up a little closer. There you go. Oh, don't want to fall. Obviously. We got two of them. Eh, hit that. Oh, well, that was random. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I don't think I've ever found that one, to be honest. Hello? Top secret. Tell no one. Aim directly at the top right corner. Hey guys. I found something. In fact, I'm showing you. <laughs> there, there probably was more stuff in there. I don't know. That's honestly the first time I found that room. Okay. There's a lot of secrets in this game. Even to this day for me. Pretty sure some of you guys knew it, but in case you didn't. There you go. Now, let's not get hit. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I, I could save it. And we can die and start again, just the way we got screwed in the last episode um, on the final hit. That was pretty cool. 
Hi there, cute little Yoshi. Does baby Mario want to go to Bowser's castle? I'll take him there in a hurry. Tee hee hee. Yeah. Okay. Bring Yoshi with you so we can kick your little whatchamacallit's ass. Whoever Bowser is to you. A little spoiled brat. Beating with a baseball bat. The best thing to do is just aim sideways so it can like bounce back and forth on him. Keep ricocheting. So I'm clearly doing that right now. Uh, he's jiggling. I need some more slime. Get away from me. Oh my god! Ah! Fuck off, dude. <laughs> that was actually scary. I didn't even mean for it to be that scary. Jeez, Alex. <laughs> Yoshi's looking back like, what? <laughs> Were you talking to me, Mario? But there we go. Now we got the big ass key. As this unlocks, literally, the next world, World 2. Holy shit. We're going through this pretty damn good, so let's just keep our mouths shut. And see how things go forever. So 100% everything perfect screen. We unlocked the two secrets there, extra one and bonus one. One extra is the bonus level, one bonus is the minigame that we win when we beat the level and we get the flower. Like we land on it and we play the bonus minigame. So there you go, boom, explosion on the first castle of Yoshi's Island. We're taking this bitch back over. Bring it on. So now next time, guys, we get to finally meet one-on-one -on -one with our first Koopa of the game. We finally get to see the Koopas. This is where they belong. But the neat thing about this game is each time you beat a world, they add a little like a little extra to the music, like another instrument. So let's see if you guys can notice that now. As we go to World 3, World 4, World 5, World 6, it's completely different from how it was in World 1 when we first began all the way through our journey. So notice that as next time we take on the first four levels of World 2 for Episode 3. No. So, it's been fun playing the greatest game ever. And it still feels great with the nostalgic feels and everything. It's just the way a game feels and plays. That's my reason why this is the greatest game of all time. So, hope you guys enjoy it with me as we go on this journey together with Mario and everything else and all the other games we love playing on YouTube, as you know how it is. So yeah, let's continue this adventure next time on Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. See you guys there, and love you all, just like Yoshi.